hi welcome to my channel if you're new here hi welcome if you're not welcome back today we're going to be going over 50 crochet ideas for summer um, these are going to be beginner friendly and we do have some advanced in this list but as always i will be linking all of these as free tutorial videos or written patterns in the description box below in the order that i say everything i also have a pinterest board with everything accumulated together and i will also link that down in the description box below before we get started i just wanted to say i read all of your comments and i did have a couple comments requesting certain videos and they all are in the works if i replied to your comment and saying that i was working on it then that video is coming just so you know with that being said if there are any um, more idea videos or just tutorials that you're having trouble finding um, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below and I will make a video about it. So without further delay, let's get started. So for the first category, we're going to do outdoor activities. For the outdoor activities, we have these really fun freeze like icicle holders. Perfect for if you have kids, keep their hands from getting sticky and kind of have a little fun with them. And for this one, I actually have these kind of like mermaid tail fishtail ones and then a little bit more of like a plain basic one if you're more of a beginner and then i have this really fun one if you have a kid who likes sharks there's a shark fun popsicle hand holder <laughs> um i thought it was really cute another thing for outdoor activities is we got picnics going on a lot of going to the park so i got this really cute really easy granny square blanket and we also have water balloons yes i said crocheted water balloons for those kids that are allergic to latex me okay um and if you want to be a little sustainable and want to be able to and also like save the bank okay they're reusable and i think they might not hurt as much as a normal water balloon but don't quote me on that these are really cool because you can make them out of there's a specific yarn that's in this pattern that you want to make them out of so that they're very absorbent um, but yeah, so that is all of our outdoor activities. So on to the next category, which is bags. I love this category. I love this category. I love bags. Who doesn't love bags? We have these checkered ones, which I think are cute for summer. Um, a little bit, honestly, I have a perfect tutorial for this. I've made these bags before and mwah, chef's kiss, beautiful tutorial. Also, these like thick yarn shoulder bags are cute um, for festivals and things like that. Also, I love this sun bag oh my god it just gives summer okay love it it's super cute it's a little more unique speaking of unique bags i found this frog bag and it's on my list of things i want to make but i think it's really cute um another thing is just honestly like beach bags like basic granny square beach bags you can't really go wrong with that there are two different styles i found there's this bigger style with kind of like the six on the front style um like landscape wise and you have more of like a thick heavy duty handle and then there's another style which is a little more laid back a little more tote bag where you don't really have the thickness of squares on the side of the bag it's just kind of like six two six square panels sewn together and that's all we got for bags let's move to the next category the next category we have is accessories for this one we've got some water bottle holders specifically these watermelon ones which I think give summer okay um, we also have this checkered bucket hat I know I have recommended a checkered bucket hat before but if you are a beginner and a little like you've had a couple projects okay not like you're just starting but if you have a couple projects under your belt I would check out this summer checkered bucket hat okay another cute thing are like little animal keychains like these frog ones or like this little chicken or duck i don't really know what that is also uh sunglasses holders are super simple and super quick and we also love a good headband okay i have a couple for you i have this like easy it looks like just three chains kind of together i think it's very for those girls who want to wear a headband but they don't want to have like a thick headband i think that's cute and then we have like the thicker whimsical bandana type headband um, this green one and then we have some more keychains like um, chapstick okay in the summer my lips get so chapped they also get chapped in the winter I guess they get chapped all year round but specifically in the summer you want to put chapstick in these little 
crochet chapstick holders or even like um sun sticks you know like sunscreen sticks because you know we don't want to get sunburned in the summer and another thing these cute little cute little mini turtle keychains super cute for going to the beach if you're near a beach i'm not near a beach but for those of you who are or we want a little slice of life living near beach make some crochet turtle keychains and these ones are specifically for the girlies who smoke if you have a dab pen and you're tired of losing it or you want to take it to the beach but you want to cover it there's this really cute sunflower um cover dab pen keychain thing i found um so there's that and then we also have this one might be specific to my area i don't know who else has these but there's this place called aldi's it's like a grocery store and you have to have a quarter to use the basket and i know it's not the only place who does it like dollar store does it a bunch of places do it but if you live in an area where you need a quarter to get a grocery cart to use a grocery cart and it's hella hot and you don't want to walk back to your car because you forgot your quarter you should make these cute little quarter keychains here it's listed it's here it's listed as an aldi quarter keeper because aldi's does this but but if you need a quarter to keep on you so you don't have to walk back to your car in the heat to go get a quarter because you forgot then make one of these keychains. Another cute water bottle holder is, I've actually done this one, this free pattern, I've done it in Chef's Kiss. I did it when I was a very early beginner. If you watched my Everything I've Ever Crocheted video, I'll put it up here. If you watched that, then you've seen this water bottle holder there. I love it, um, perfect for summer, and it's a super quick workup too. And then this other accessory is cup cozies. Now, okay, this is usually, like, in winter, you can use them to keep your drink warm and your hand from getting burned. But in the summer, you can keep your drink from sweating all over the place or your ice from melting. Especially, I'm in California, so the heat gets hot here. So that comes in handy. That's all for accessories. So our next category is bottoms. This is clothing that goes waist down okay <laughs> um so we have three things for this category we have swimsuit wraps which is basically just a long rectangle of like netting crochet and then we have these granny square shorts which i've mentioned in a previous video these are beginner friendly and then also if you don't like shorts and you're more of a skirt person you can make a granny square skirt like this one which is also really easy and beginner friendly and that is all for bottoms so let's move into our category of tops which i like this category um i found a lot of crochet tops but i do want to make a little disclaimer not all of these are like super beginner friendly okay there are a couple where you might want to have a couple projects under your belt before you jump into it but you can still try it go for it you never know really what your level is until you try a project that you think might be hard so still go for it so we have this cute like brown baby doll type top i guess i think it's cute and then we have this crochet halter top that kind of cinches this blue one that cinches like right between your girls and then we have a um checkered kind of crop top looking thing and also all these crop tops if you don't want them to be cropped you just add some more rows um literally i think every pattern you can just add some more rows and it won't be as cropped and then we got this I put it in the top category because there's only one dress, but it's like a swimsuit dress cover-up that like is really, really long. So if you're looking for a long project, that's a good one. And then you have um, some bikinis. We have this really cute, colorful crochet bikini top. Um, and then we have a heart one, which is a little more advanced. The hearts on the cup side, the cups of the, you know what I mean, the bikini. That's a little more advanced, but you could definitely do it. And then we have like a basic white net crop top, this flower long sleeve. I know I've put that one in another video. I love it. And then we have this like shell stitch blue top, which gives me mermaid, honestly. It's giving mermaid. And then we have this different shades of green triangle halter top, which love me a halter top. I just made a halter top. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. I just made a halter top for summer and wow, I love that pattern. Um, another one is this like, it's this like top where it's basically like two, it's very boho hippie, okay? It's two squares when laid out, but when you pull it up, it's kind of like flurly. I don't know if that's the best way to explain it, but this is what it looks like. And you can also make um, same kind of like net 
crop top buy but only with one shoulder so you don't have two straps it's a little less basic a little more like oh she knows how to crochet but it's still super simple and then you can also make these like granny square tube tops which is basically just two rows of six granny squares or however many you need to go around your body for my advanced guys and girls who crochet we have this like flower me up vest um it's a little more advanced a little more advanced but i think it's really cute especially when working with like really tiny yarn and then also for bikini tops we have this like very if you love showing skin we have this star bikini top where it's literally just a star as the covers for your girls so if you if you if you if that's up your alley go for it and then we have this cute like yellow lacy pull string cover up it can be like a swimsuit cover up or it can just be a top and then this i thought was really cool for one it's a watermelon bikini okay but also i thought it was interesting that they used old bra cup inserts as the swimsuit cover so if you are gonna make a swimsuit for summer I definitely recommend doing this method and you could do this with a sewing machine if you don't know you don't have to hand sew I hate hand sewing I anytime I need to sew on crochet I just use a sewing machine like it works you don't have to hand sew so if you don't know how to hand sew but you have a machine totally do it I think that's a cool like hack to get your swimsuits to last longer and not stretch out in the boob area and also just some more coverage you know because when you crochet bikini tops sometimes you can get a little nip in there and those old bra pad cover thingies totally get that out of the way and that is all we have for tops so on to our next category our next and last category is decor so for decor we have this cute granny square um organizer i guess you can call it i thought that was very summer because i just picture like sunscreen body spray things like that you know quick and easy and i love these door hanging like little flower crochet things and those are really easy to make and then you can also just make like flowers and vines for your room and get it kind of more spring summer vibe in your room speaking of flowers rose forever sent me some flowers to review for you guys on my channel this is not a sponsored video they did send me these for free and i did manage to get you guys a discount code because Mother's Day is coming up and your moms deserve some flowers. So if you want to get your mom some flowers or your girlfriend some just because flowers, um, be sure to use Amazing Page 20 for $20 off of your order. I will be linking the shop also in the description box. I loved my order. These flowers are real and they last up to a year. I got the black velvet box, I think is what it's called, and it was super soft and super cute. My mom loved these flowers, so go get someone in your life some flowers. <laughs> now back to the regularly scheduled program. And these tassel banner things you can put in your room. I've made these before. I found a pattern a long time ago and I made a couple of them, but I never made enough to actually make like a string of them. So I think I'm gonna do that this summer. You guys should do it with me. Another thing I like uh, is these heart They can be used in a doorway, but you can also just put them in your room. But these like heart strings, and for your kitchen to keep your fruit off the counter and those fruit flies away during summer i would make a fruit hammock this hammock specifically is a free pattern and i think it's cute another thing i love is another thing i love about summer is the outdoorness okay if you're one of those people who has a picnic table or you're gonna go to a park with a picnic table you know that those picnic tables are kind of not cute okay not cute usually dirty if i were you i would make these colorful bright summer vibe placemats either for your picnic table outside or your outdoor table or a park table or whatever just to kind of spruce up your little picnic um and make it a little more summer make it a little more fun and that is all 50 crochet ideas for summer beginner friendly with a little bit of advanced sprinkled in there if you enjoyed this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this if there's a specific crochet idea video or crochet tutorial that you can't find anywhere and you want me to make, please comment it down below and I will add it to the very long list that I am getting through. <laughs> if you guys have made any of these, please comment. Let me know how they were or if any of these were like super, super hard or if you have any tips for beginners that might try one of these projects that you've already done, please put it in the comments. I, all my, 
all my beginner subscribers read those comments and try and find tips so just a reminder as always Everything that I've said in this video is in a cohesive put together Pinterest board linked down below and I also linked every single tutorial either video or written in order that I said it in the categories in the description box below. On some of my other videos, you guys didn't really know where to find everything. If you just go right into the video, there's a little description box and you can click it and boom done. Also, I just want to say super thank you to all of my super thanks for my other videos, for sending me tips and sending me money and thanking me in the comment section. I love you all. Mwah. If you want to send a super thanks, they're down here somewhere. Anyways, thank you for watching. I love you guys. If you don't want to miss another video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notifications. I post a video every single Saturday at noon, California time. So don't miss my next video. I love you all. Bye.